Good morning traders, this is Salim Vladose, another beautiful day, the date is blum, 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 Tuesday 29th of November uh, 2016, Yo, guys the year has gone, people had dreams, they never did anything about those dreams and the year is over, they'll start having more dreams for 2017 and you know I do nothing about them as well but you know what, it's people, people will always be like that. They'll always plan things and not actually execute uh, their plans. But quickly, <laughs> let me stop <laughs> chit-chatting about that. But guys, the main reason for this video today is to show you uh, a supply and demand zone based on volume. Quickly, right, as you can see, this particular zone right here, from here to here, right? We can clearly see down here, the strong volumes. The strong volumes is indicated by the the blue lines right here. Let me draw it for you guys. Here we go. One and two. There we go. So I know this is was a high vo uh, volume area, as I can see as well. The green shows that there was bidding volume as well, and blue shows me that there was um high volume. So this zone here. Gave me a clue that there was a big financial institution involved in this particular area, right? So if we draw the zone, insert shapes. If we draw this zone from here all the way to the close down there, there we go. Right? You can clearly see how the price went up came back down, retested this zone. Let me actually show you this zone one more time. Okay, hopefully you can see this color. Let me change it to black. There we go. Right, so this is was the high volume area down here, as indicated by the, those blue lines. And also uh, the indicator down shows also that there was um, high volume bidding here. That's why there is the green um, uh, high volume um, uh, indicator right there so this zone was a high probability buying zone what makes me say it was a high probability buying zone because number one we had volume rising at this point and it was bidding volume the price went up a little bit came back down on this zone tested the zone shot back up again again yesterday which was the uh, 28th of november the price came and retested the very same zone before it went up again so as you can clearly see how the price is reacting on this zone and right there on this zone based on the zone that was formed on this particular day down here but guys i can give you lots and lots and lots of examples of what i'm talking about if i rewind as well and show you another zone right there we go and there we go okay you can clearly see as well the volume was rising here Okay, the price dropped. The, the volume was rising, the price went up, and the price dropped. Okay, so the fact that the volume was rising but the price was going up, it means the retail traders were buying here, but the financial institutions were selling, not buying. So they were actually selling against the retail traders buying on this particular area. That's why the volume started rising from this particular area zone right here so if i can identify those zone again and say shapes there we go from here to this zone there so quickly right from this area to that area there okay you can clearly see now the price dropped below that zone, came back up, tested, finally dropped. And now this gives us a clue that there was strong sellers on this particular zone. So if I stretch this a little bit to the future again, right, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. Can you see how the price touched that zone to the upside and reacted again, right there, based on the volume that was formed right here so we know it was selling volume because finally the price pushed back down so because we know that we identify this zone 
and if I fast forward we can see how the price reacted there and gave you nice 35 tips to the downside so that is my tip for the day guys um trading is not that difficult i can give you a very simple clue about trading trading is all about understanding when the banks are buying and selling right trading is not about um identifying oversold and overbought unfortunately there is still a lot of uh, people teaching people oversold and overbought stochastic 8 20 moving average crossing up you know what this is up this is crossing above that one and this and you know all that just those things do not work guys to be quite honest what moves the markets is the supply and demand what you need to understand which are the best supply and demand zone if you can identify the best supply and demand zone you will become a better trader okay right guys i know a lot of people are aspiring traders they need to make money with trading but unfortunately a lot of people are doing it the wrong wrong way and i don't blame them because the knowledge that is being taught out there a lot of people that are teaching courses out there they're actually teaching all the wrong stuff i know like lately there's uh, companies mushroom mushrooming left right and center i mean there's guys that i've watched starting to trade six months ago a year ago already now they have got companies they're training people to trade their so-called gurus i mean it's it's it is what it is guys i mean at the end of the day all, all i can say is if you are a genuine trader and if you are not a fake trader you don't get as popular as the fake traders okay that's why i'm not that popular and it's okay for me not to be popular in the game it's okay for me not to be uh well known and uh you know, I'd be on TV or radio and, and whatever. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I'm perfectly okay with it. But I'll still continue to provide value by giving people free trading tips here and there. I'll still uh, I'll continue to give you guys clues on what to look for in terms of trading. Okay. Right, guys. This is Salim Jalosa. Stay blessed. And uh, I will be posting my non-farm uh, analysis video this week. So watch out for my non-farm analysis video on friday morning i'll be posting it on friday morning so go to my youtube channel subscribe 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 guys a lot of people are liking my youtube channel but they're not subscribing subscribe and get alert so that whenever i post a video you get an email right away that i posted a video so that we can benefit from these tips right <laughs> i know i've said a mouthful guys i love trading i've got passion for this business as i always say share this video with your mentor share with your friends share with your cousin share with your aunt share with your brother share with your sister after all it's free information All right, guys share these videos i'm serious share these videos i mean i want to be popular by giving value and giving people free useful tips okay i don't want to be popular by driving the best car or be uh, you know at um holding money or doing something stupid i, I don't want to be popular by that I want to be well known by giving people free valuable information okay but right, guys share this video salim stay blessed i'm out bye bye